All right. Um, let's see. So Camille is out. Camille is out most of this week for uh, for commit. And uh, first thing up, Matthias, you want to introduce yourself to the team? I know you haven't met everybody yet. Yep, for sure. Um, yes. Hi again. <laughs> I mean, some of you I already talked to, but uh, yeah, happy to talk a little bit more about um, what I've done before and uh, why I'm here. Um, Okay, that's easier. So I had the push to talk on. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm joining GitLab from SoundCloud where I had been for six and a half years um, across different functions and teams really all the way from mobile to uh, backend related work. Um, yeah, I made my way over here um, to work with you uh, at GitLab. Uh, yeah, it, like GitLab has been uh, like on my radar for a while, super interesting a company. I was very intrigued by uh, how you all work and the level of transparency, which to me was unprecedented. I had never seen this done by a company before. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you all feel the same way. And particularly the memory team, um, this only came up uh, actually like while I was interviewing and uh, yeah, Craig started to talk about it. And hey, um, you know, does this sound interesting to you? And I thought it sounded like uh, really intriguing because uh, I like the idea um, that we get exposure to the whole breadth of the uh, product. And uh, you know, we are able to uh, we kind of sit in between the product and the developers so we can help others, you know, uh, be productive and write um, well-performing software that uh, works as part of the GitLab product suite. So that sounds like super appealing to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Like uh, also where I am, uh, I live uh, here in Berlin, uh, Germany with uh, my wife and uh, a young cat <laughs> uh, for about a year now. Uh, we're not like right in Berlin proper, but a little bit further outside. Um, and uh, yeah, like I really like the uh, like nature here. So, you know, I like to go on, on walks and stuff. It's, it's really pretty out here. You know, we have a couple of lakes nearby. Yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Feel free to ask me more. I'll schedule a coffee chat as well. Awesome. Thanks, Matthias. Glad to have you here. I think uh, of the folks on the call, you, I think, have you met Larissa before? She's probably the only one you haven't met, right? Yeah, exactly. No, I don't think, no, we have not met. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. I've been out for a few weeks. Well, cool. Yeah. Uh, well, glad to have you back. And hi. <laughs> all right. Now we'll jump over to the agenda. Everybody see the screen all right? Okay. <clears throat> so um, we talked about the throughput OKR last week and um, went through and updated the OKR. We're doing doing well i think the last average i saw um, as a team we're averaging about 7.3 per month which is pretty good i know the goal overall goal is 10 mrs per month per engineer um, but as we discussed throughout the conversation <coughs> excuse me there should be some ramp up time in there as well um, as camille called out here you know gradual growth up to that 10 goal. Um, so we're doing pretty well. I updated us to 70% complete. Uh, one thing I would note that um, we use this dashboard. I don't know how many folks have seen it. Uh, and the throughput is measured down here. So what we're seeing is, um, as you can see here, it lists us as having 15 MR closed in September, but it's not actually picking up everything from this group because the work that we do is crossing many boards and um, working with, I think it's Mac who, um, I guess, runs a board or configures a board to figure out why the discrepancy. So this gives us a little bit lower score, but overall we're doing really well. And even for October, wow, we're already... <laughs> halfway uh, we have more than half what we had for september and it's only first week of october so i expect we'll do quite well in october so thanks everyone for their hard work on that any questions on that one all right cool um puma progress so we'd hope to get puma out in 12.4 it's not going to happen uh what was discovered during late september was there was no way to have a no downtime rollout and that is a bit of a problem for us. Uh, we're trying to figure out our best way around it. Uh, I think we have a good solution for it. Um, Camille has added some new health check endpoints that we need to roll out. And with uh, geez, a multi-tenant environment, multi-node environment, we should be able to do relatively low downtime. Um, 
should be no downtime for the users if I'm understanding correctly. Some of their requests will just get queued up, which is an acceptable um, rollover. And with single node self-managed smaller instances, there's just there's no way to avoid the downtime. So we will have to update documentation and uh, let the users know what to expect when they upgrade to Puma. So it's all detailed in this doc here. There's an accompanying video where we talked about all these things. And then um, infrastructure is heavily involved on how we do the rollout to production. So we're going to test it again on staging. And then once we're comfortable with staging, then we'll roll it out to Canary and then have some burn-in time, at least one release cycle. So sit in Canary for a month and then eventually roll it out to production. It's all detailed in the doc. There's a video and Jarv updated the um, epic that goes along with it. So any questions on Puma? Looks like we're gonna get some really good um, memory reduction. And uh, what was there was a secondary thing. Yeah, just lots of memory reduction. So, and most of the measurements we've gotten from Grant and all the testing he's done with the 25K architecture. So it's been great. Um, and then up next is 12.4. So we have 10 calendar days left in the milestone. Um, I, I guess we can just walk straight through these and let me know if there's anything we need to move out. I'm happy to move things out of 12.4 if it just looks like they're not going to make it. So. Can you, you want to run through yours real quick? Uh, yes, I think the rest of uh, issues are straightforward. Most of them are in review, uh, the ML are, in, are either in review or ready for review. But the first one, uh, the sidekick jobs profiling, maybe mm -hmm. we cannot finish the whole issue by this milestone because we found that there are something tricky how to profile, uh, how to trigger the profiling is a bit tricky. And Alexi also joined the discussion in the issue. I think that's very helpful. Um, so we think we can finish part of the, this issue at least. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this one is tricky. And okay. there is another one is uh, working by the community developer so introduce rack middleware yes so this one uh, we are not sure because the community developer balakuma he didn't respond yet and we are not sure whether he has time to continue okay no, that's great um you have a lot on your plate for this quarter or for this quarter sorry this milestone so appreciate the efforts here um on the first one, allow execution and memory profiling for sidekick jobs. I agree that one needs to be broken down quite a bit. So um, maybe we'll set up some time later this week or next to just work through it and break it down some more. And we can work with product management to see what makes sense for prioritization on that one. So I will move that one out to 12.5 and we will set aside some time for grooming on that one. Camille is not here. Um, I think we're going to see the same thing on improved pipeline process service. It's a, a fairly big one that needs to be broken down into smaller issues. I don't think it's going to close out for 12.5. I think 12.4. Um, I think he said portions of it will be finished in this milestone. Uh, this one should be closing out soon. I know there's an MR out there. Um, and these. And same with the next two. Those are both related to getting Puma out. Uh, actually, next one as well. So I know he was hoping to close a lot of these out. And I, I know there were a lot of MRs that he was fast and furiously finishing up on Friday and maybe even through today. So I will check the status of those later on today. So on to Alexi. And I think Alexi is supporting a lot of those efforts from Camille. So. Yeah, but. that's right. The first one is uh, merged, so we just need to use our procedure of waiting for this to be deployed to gitlab.com, and then we are going to close the issue. So it's just just closing it and verifying that we don't have any exceptions. And awesome. for for the last one, 
it's effectively five merge requests now. And if you could you please open an issue if you yeah. don't mind. Yeah, I, I cross-linked it to another issue. It's on the top three, three, on the very top of the description, I put this thing. Yeah, Camille effectively reorganized this issue because we started with refactoring. And now this issue, 33226, two, holds all the plan for, for this refactoring and deduplication. As you could see, we merged two merge requests on Friday. And I'm working on the third one, and I hope it would be ready this week. And I'm also aiming to finish or at least push to review the first one until I'm going to vacation. And that's why Camille probably moved the last one to 12.5. So I guess maybe the whole issue is going to 12.5, but I'm going to make a solid progress on this one. And um, I don't know. It depends whether somebody is going to hand off this in this milestone or not. If not, it's definitely a 12.5. If yes, <laughs> I don't know, maybe we have a chance to finish it, but <laughs> it's safer to say 12.5 for the whole idea, yeah. And I also have another merge request. It's not reflected in the issue, but I'm currently discussing it with them. It's about removing some uh, legacy renaming support. It has some particular I don't know how to say issues, but we're going to discuss it. Maybe I, I, I will open an issue for it specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's it. All right. Um, any other topics from 12.4 that we didn't cover? All right, I'll take that as a no. Um, 12.5, looks like there's gonna be a lot of carryover from 12.4, so. Um, Right now, there's far too much in the 12.5 milestone. Um, so I will move a bunch of these around later on today. Because um, I, don't, I don't think we'll get to most of these. The, <laughs> a lot of them are Puma related, so we'll keep those in. And I will sync up with product management and Larissa later on to make sure that we're doing the right things. I think the one thing that we'll start looking into, and maybe this is something Matthias can start uh, sinking his teeth into, is the uh, memory intensive MR endpoint that was identified, I think last milestone or the previous milestone, seems to be the first one we should tackle, start looking at um, optimizing. Sounds good, yeah. yeah. So, and that is it. We are at the end of the agenda. Is there are there any other topics that folks want to talk about? I just wanted to tell that I'm going off. I'm going to be off next week and part of the next next week, but it's in my calendar just in case you're going to discuss something with me. Please do it this week. I'm ready to have a call or pair with you. Right. We're going to catch up on Wednesday, right? Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sure. So we, we could can, even we do, can do the, the handoff for um, the story you're working on right now. So I, re I really think like, you know, towards the mid midweek, uh, towards the end of the week, I'll be all set up here. Sure, yes. sure, we could Still discuss through, like, our the laptop setup and stuff, but yeah. Get yeah, of there. course, of course. Feel free to ping me anytime. Did you, and like, Chinyo also yeah. feel free to ping me, we could discuss uh, this sidekick stuff. Soon. Sure, sure, thank you, cool. Did your laptop show up yet, Matthias? Yeah, it got delivered today, uh, a day oh. early. Surprising. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, cool. yeah, going through all the <laughs> basic necessities now that I need on that. Awesome. And then we have another new team member starting on Monday. And Camille will be his onboarding buddy. So and then um, we are finishing up interviewing the final slot for the team. So we may have it all wrapped up by the end of the week. That would be fantastic. Cool. All right. Well, there is nothing else. I'll let everybody have some time back. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks, everyone. See Thanks. you. Bye. Bye.